Uh, hi, I'm now going to cover the topic of how to use a smart um, S10 satellite meter uh, to uh, align a satellite dish. So I have in front of me now, we have a, 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 um, an, an F um, connected cable uh, going from the satellite meter to a zone 2 sky dish, which we're going to use to try to pick up uh, some free sat channels. Okay? So uh, in this particular situation, you can see I'm wearing the pouch, which leaves me in a hands-free position. And also, because of the particular design, it lets quite well on my, on my belly here, so I can actually look directly onto the screen. Um, now, uh, for the purpose of the initial part of this demonstration, I'm actually going to come and take this um, meter out of its um, safety pouch. Okay, pull it out here now. So I'll just turn on the meter. Comes on here. Hopefully this is relatively clear to you. And when I'm aligning a satellite dish, the option I want to go for is um, the TP search. So I simply come along and I click OK and I go for the Astro 2 satellite. And we can see here now we have reasonable uh, signal strength, but no quality. And the error rating thing is just not giving anything because it's not picking up a signal. Okay, so what we'll do here now is I'm just going to slip this back of this pouch. We're actually going to uh, start with just the, the satellite meter here. I have in front of me here a 10 and a, a, a 13 millimeter socket or spanner, which you could use for the satellite thing. So what we'll do here is we'll simply rotate this meter here so I can look at the display here. So um, as we swing through, what I'll actually do maybe now is just to let you see the signal quality strength here again. As we rotate through, uh, you can see the quality is still at zero. We move our way along, and actually get to a point where we pick up a satellite thing here. So we'll see initially, when we have very low strengths. Um, we can see that it's giving us, it's a high um, error level here, okay? So we can see it's flashing red and we have a low level of green strength here. So we move back down through this video. We, we move it here over here and as we get it, uh, the, it's given in dB levels, but this is zero and this is 100%. So we can see we have the strength over 90% and the quality now over 100%. And we can see that the, the error rate on it is quite low. Okay, so we can actually just test our, um, our, our alignment here. And normally at this point, which it would initially sort of bolt the dish into position. So what we can do here is just hit the F2 function here. Do you want to do a network search? No, and probably only want to look at free to air channels. No point trying to examine a scramble channel at this point. And we come along here. And we can see here that a particular channel comes up. We're able to look at it here. Uh, by hitting thing, we can see it's channel 4. We can scroll down here as far as, we'll say, film 4. I simply hit OK. And we'll see that film 4 is broadcasting here now as well. So that's it. So we're, we're quite confident we're after um, successfully aligning this uh, success uh, properly. So you can just hit the exit button to get out of here. And I can actually come down here to a different transponder. So we could go back up here to 1122 and see on that particular transponder is it is well aligned. So you can see that possibly we, for, we could tweak it slightly better for that particular transponder. Um, and uh, it will go to the transponder below, and you can see it's quite well. So probably, um, you know, the, the, the signal levels on the, 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 the middle transponder there were, were reasonable, so it'll probably be in a good position. So we're reasonably confident here, if we bolt this in, we'll go down, uh, we should have no real difficulty. So that's it, um, how to use the smart uh, meter S10 uh, to align a satellite dish.